Hello, my name is Gabriela. And my name is Liliana Urban. I'm a health planner for the Knox County Health Department. And today, Gabriela is going to tell us everything she has learned to go back to school. Are you excited? Yes, I'm excited to see my friends, meet my new teacher, and learn, of course. Of course. <laughs> Have you heard about COVID-19? Yes, COVID-19 is a virus that spreads easily from person to person through the droplets that come out of their mouth and nose when they sneeze, cough, sing, talk, etc. Yeah, so now that you know all of that, how are you getting ready to go back to school? Well, like the virus can spread easily from person to person, you have to distance. Mm -hmm. How much? How far do you have to be? Feet, which is about length of one couch, or two large dogs, or maybe a jump rope. A jump rope like this one? Mm -hmm. This distance? This long? Let's see. Wow, that's pretty far. You need to keep some distance. Well, so what else are you doing to get ready to go back to school? If you... If you... If you can't distance, you have to wear a mask. Mm, a mask. Like this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how's it going? Not bad. Once my family and me and I. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. And I found some masks that fit me. That fit me well. And once I was able to practice wearing them, it didn't feel weird at all. I'm so glad to hear about that. Wasn't that hard? No. Nope. No, not at all. So yes. how do we know that I'm wearing my mask properly? Well, it has to cover your nose and mouth. Let's see. Try okay. under your nose, on from here or under your chin. Like this? No. Like this? No. Like this? No. No? What about this? Yes. My nose and, and my mouth, right? Covered. But if it does not cover your mouth and nose, it is not working. Gabriela, so now that you know everything about social distancing and wearing a mask, I think you're ready to go back to school. No, that's not all. Okay. You have to keep your hands clean just in case you touch a surface where the virus is landing. So how can I do that? How can I keep my hands clean? You have to wash them or sanitize them. Okay. So wash them. Tell me how can I wash my hands. Well, first you wet them with warm water, then you get a few pumps of soap, then you scrub your hand on the top, under, between your fingers, and even under your fingernails. All right, so, but if I don't have access to a sink, what can I do to keep my hands clean? You sanitize them. As a teacher or, or any other grown up for some hand sanitizer. So what hell, that's really good advice. Is there anything else that we should know about going back to school? Okay, so besides social distancing and wearing a mask and keeping our hands clean, is there anything that we need to keep in mind? Yes, there is. If you feel sick, you must stay home, even though it just feels like a little cold. Mm -hmm. Why should I stay home? Because if you have the virus and you go to school, you can spread it and it can make other people very sick. Well, thank you so much for sharing all this information. I think that it will help me and it will help other children to get ready to go back to school. Thank you so much, Gabriela. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about COVID-19, call our information line, 865-215-5555. Thank, thank you. you.